God says. Hebrews. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it the people of old received their commendation. By faith we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. These all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar, and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. For people who speak thus make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of that land from which they had gone out, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. God continues, I am making all things new. You are the apple of my eye and the delight of my heart. I am working all things together for your good. I have not forgotten you, were forsaken. I heard your prayers. Keep your eyes on me. Refuse to entertain the enemy's voice of discouragement. Your breakthrough is just around the corner. Keep moving forward. The next thing I do for you and your family will be big, miraculous, and mind-blowing. Healing, blessings, and favor are headed to your house. Prepare yourself for Sunday. You're going to be so amazed as everything starts going your way. Just be happy and type Amen to affirm it. Hebrews, by faith, Moses, when he was grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to be mistreated with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. He considered the reproach of Christ greater wealth than the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking to the reward. By faith he left Egypt, not being afraid of the anger of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and sprinkled the blood so that the destroyer of the firstborn might not touch them. Hebrews. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. A new opportunity is coming your way that will change your life forever. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord will personally go ahead of you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Sometimes the wait may be long, but God always comes through. Before you do anything, put your trust entirely in God, and every plan you make will succeed. Seek first his kingdom and righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Therefore, Jesus said, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.